So here's what Jesus began to introduce to me, and that's what led to the writing of this book, and that's what led to this series. He began to show me the way out, a number of just simple daily practices that would help me breathe again and get my life back and, and restore my soul. And it began with something as simple as the one minute pause. What I realized was that I was just going through my day from email to email, phone call to phone call, you know, meeting to text to email to call to meeting, and even in my in-between time, my downtime, right, driving from one place to another or waiting for somebody to get back to me, I was, you know, back on my phone trying to get more work done. I realized I never stopped. I never paused once in the day. And so Jesus encouraged me to do this, to take 60 seconds, just 60 seconds, to pause in my day and just release it, just breathe, not pray, not intervene for the next thing that was happening, not make my grocery list in my mind, none of it. As David says in the Psalms, I have stilled and quieted my soul. Now, that's the thing that takes some practice to do. So all we're going to start with is a one-minute pause where we simply allow our souls to breathe. Just stop for 60 seconds. The one-minute pause has become an utter rescue. We're going to try it right now. and We're just going to practice it, and as we go through the series, we're going to get good at it. All right? So 60 seconds right now not to do anything. Okay, don't process that email you shouldn't have sent this afternoon and don't think about, you know, the meeting that's coming tomorrow. Just 60 seconds. Be quiet and let your soul catch up to you. Just let your soul breathe. I know, it's hard, right? All the distractions coming in, it's almost irritating for somebody to ask you to take 60 seconds to just pause because we're suddenly confronted by how much we are being shaped by the chaos. 